Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Kyle Henderson and Tony Sukalis is the BamiInsider.com top 40. Today, we are on player number three, Mac Jones at quarterback. Here with Tony Sukalis to talk about Mac Jones, to talk about Alabama's quarterback going into the 2020 season. Tony, last year, Mac Jones, baptism by fire thrown in uh, when Tua Tungavailoa went down 1,500 yards, 14 touchdowns, three interceptions. Uh, I know you're high on Mac Jones. I'm high on Mac Jones as well. Um, let's just talk about what you feel um, you know, Mac Jones really is going to excel at and, and where he can help this team going into the 2020 season. I think when you look at Mac, he's a guy that got better with each start. You know, I mean, uh, it seems like when you first watched him at that Arkansas game and see they, you know, you thought, or, you know, maybe even Tennessee when he came in, you, you thought like, oh man, Alabama's taking things super slow with this guy. You know, he's not gonna, you know, he's not going to do much. He's, he's not going to move the offense. And then you started to see him get a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more comfortable. I really thought he kind of came out of his shell um, against Auburn and really almost led a comeback drive. Um, probably should have at least led a, a game tying drive. You know, if Alabama makes that field goal, and he's just, he was resilient in that game, um, had a better passing rating in that game than Joe Burrow did against L against Auburn. And then, you know, he comes out and he performs really well against a top 10 pass defense in Michigan in the Citrus Bowl. And I, I just think that's setting him up for a great redshirt junior year. I'm excited to see what he can do uh, throughout a whole season. I mean, you look, he, he averaged um, during his four starts, he averaged 293 yards and 3.25 touchdowns. If you put that over a 15 game schedule, you know, just, just saying maybe Alabama goes the whole way, plays 15 games, he's going to break all of Alabama's records. Now, I'm not saying he's going to be able to maintain that. We'll have to see about that, right? But the average and what we've seen and what we've already seen him do against top defenses is really exciting. Now, Tony, there, there's a lot of, for whatever reason, there's a lot of Alabama fans out there that almost have some hostility that Mac Jones is coming back. Now, I get it. You know, the, everyone wants to see Alabama do well. But since Bryce Young has joined this team and Talia has exited out, it's almost like people are upset that Mac Jones is returning. And it seems like a lot of people are just fixated on that Auburn game. Can, can you explain? I mean, you just had some great stat points, but, but why do you think that is that some fans have a little bit of hostility towards Mac Jones returning? I don't even know if it's hostility. I think there's just a fear that, that Bryce Young will leave. You know, I, I think it, so here's the, 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 disaster scenario I guess if you want to say for Alabama if you want to call it a disaster scenario what if Mac Jones throws for 4,000 yards and 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 you know 38 40 touchdowns whatever you want to say um and then decides hey I'm going to come back you know well I, you, you can't bench a quarterback that you know that does all that you're not going to want to do that and then is, is Bryce Young going to want to sit another year on the bench if that happens you know, or, you know, I, I think the, the thought is that, you know, Bryce, like a Mac Jones could lead, could end up forcing Bryce Young out, out the door. I think people saw what happened with Jake Fromm and, and Justin Fields, and, and they're kind of scared because they don't want to lose that kind of player. I, I don't know. I think, I think it could work for both of them. I think there's a chance, and I've said this from the start, that Mac could have a good enough year. If you look at the way he played, look at the offense he's going to be surrounded by, that he could have a good enough – you know, year this season that maybe he tests the, the NFL next season. You know, I, I don't think that's out of the picture. And if that happens, then it opens up the door for Bryce Young the following year. So I kind of think that's a, that's a possibility. It's, it's not something that um, I'd say that's actually a realistic possibility, if you ask me. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he definitely has enough weapons in Alabama's offense, completely loaded offensive line, um, receivers, running backs. I mean, who knows what could happen this season um, if Mac Jones completely, um, you know, balls out. Uh, uh, Tony, during the Michigan game, Mac Jones was stellar. He had 300 and, what, 15 yards, something like that, three touchdowns, uh, pinpoint balls to his receivers. Jerry Judy uh, caught a beautiful pass from him. Um, in the opener, but no one really talked about his play. I mean, Mac Jones is is completely capable to lead this offense, right? I mean, we've talked about maybe some arm strength issues, but overall, I mean, Mac Jones is a quality quarterback. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, uh, I mean, look, the offense worked with him, and, and it wasn't like they were just, you know, only running the ball. There wasn't a lot of – there wasn't a huge drastic change with Mac Jones. I think they averaged somewhere close to 498 yards instead of 510 yards. I mean, I think if you looked at, at Mac Jones' stats, um, 
they would have ranked if, if, if you go up by you know the games that he started right they would have ranked number seven in the nation in total offense if if you looked at the way you know the offense ran under him there wasn't that much of a change and that's part of the reason why I have him as number three I don't think there's going to be a, that much of a change I'm not saying he's going to come in and be to a tongue by Loa but he proved that he can make Alabama's offense work in the way that it has been working. And so I kind of think Alabama is still going to throw the ball. I think they're still going to be dynamic. They still have receivers that can make plays after the catch. And I think you're not going to see this drastic change in Alabama's offense. And because of that, I think you're going to see some huge numbers from Mac Jones. Tony, you know more Alabama history than I. Now, if we look through the past, you know, 10 years, um, under Nick Saban, which quarterback do you feel that Mac Jones is comparable to um, when we look at the past quarterbacks under Nick Saban? It's tough to say because Alabama really hasn't, uh, you know, done this where it's kind of spread it out and thrown it as much as it has. You know, I mean, I guess, you know, there's a lot of people that want to say he's like A.J. McCarron, and I don't know. I think he's probably – got a little bit more athleticism than AJ had. Um, I don't really know if there's precisely a quarterback. I've seen Jake Coker thrown around. I think some of these comparisons though are, are a tad lazy because they, they, they think, oh, this guy, you know, game manager, blah, blah, blah. You know, I think we'll just, we'll have to see with Mac. I think Mac could be his own guy. I think Mac could be a guy that maybe you compare other people to down the road. He's not as, you know, dynamic with his legs. He probably has more straight line speed than Tua, but when it comes to elusiveness and, and, you know, escaping people in the pocket, I would take Tua. I think that's something that Max worked on this offseason. But, you know, he's not going to be that, you know, Houdini in the pocket that Tua was. Uh, that being said, I think he, you know, like I said, he's got athleticism. He's got, he's got an adequate arm. I don't think it's, you know, I don't think he's going to knock anybody down with his arm. But it, it's not a – he's got a good, a capable arm as well. And he, he can be really precise as, as well, and he makes good decisions. So, a pretty well-rounded quarterback and and with these receivers I think you know like I keep on saying I, I think you know the sky's the limit with the numbers he can put up all right Tony so so let's get back to one more thing that you brought up you said that um, worst case scenario almost in best case scenario for Alabama Mac Jones throws for 4,000 yards what would that do or you know 3,500 yards what would that do in terms of you know this this quarterback situation that Alabama has well, so, yeah, so the, the scenario, though, is that, you know, Mac Jones does all that and then decides to come back. And then you have a tough decision whether between Bryce Young or, or Mac Jones, right? Is it really that bad of a decision if you have a guy that threw for 4,000 yards and he wants to come back? You're, you're going to take that every single time. I mean, if, if at that point, you know, a quarterback wants to leave the program, then, then so be it. I mean, you, you can't turn down it, – it's like, you know, seeing the Ferrari – you know, you know the, cur the curtain's covering most of the Ferrari, but you can see the back end of that Ferrari. And then there's another, you know, curtain and you, you can't, you didn't see as much from it. You don't know what's going to be there. You take the Ferrari. I mean, if at that point you already have a Heisman contender, if he's throwing for 4,000 yards, obviously Alabama's probably winning games then. Um, now, you know, it's circumstantial, you know, if something happens, if, if for some reason he just chokes in big games or, you know, then maybe there's an argument. But if, if Mac Jones comes back after throwing 4,000 yards, Alabama will have much bigger problems in the quarterback position. Hey, we want to hear from you in the comment box. What do you think about Mac Jones coming back for the 2020 season? You think he's going to do well for Alabama? Um, curious to get your thoughts inside the comment box. For Tony Sukal, Kyle Henderson, we're inching closer to the BamaInsider.com top 40. Two and one up next right here on BadmanInsider.com. Have a good night, and we'll catch up with you guys soon.